streak of their stars, but to no avail. We start with Indonesia here today, and they've made four changes to the side that had a draw with Palestine in another friendly a few days ago. Sharul Trisna, the goalkeeper, is replaced by Hernando Ari. Pratama Arhan, who's a fantastic fullback or wingback, uh, makes way. As does Ricky Kambuaya, combative midfielder. And Jans Sayuri, very much an attacking midfielder. Jordi Amat, who has uh, La Liga and Premier League experience, comes into the side. Iva Jena makes his first start for his new country. He was naturalized a few months ago. Shane Elian J. Patinama makes his first ever appearance for Indonesia. He too was born in the Netherlands. So those are your four changes. As for Argentina, well, they played Australia uh, just a few days ago in China. And uh, they make a lot of changes here, seven to be exact. The big news, of course, coming into this one is that Lionel Scaloni has allowed big name players like Nicolas Otamendi, Angel Di Maria, and most importantly, I think for many, Lionel Messi time off uh, to go and enjoy a bit of vacation before they rejoin their clubs. Messi, of course, going to Inter Miami after leaving Paris Saint-Germain. So he makes way. Rodrigo de Paul, Marcos Acuna, Enzo Fernandez, and Alexis McAllister are all on the bench from that game against Australia. In come some of the perhaps lesser known players to many. Facundo Medina, German Pazella, who scored against uh, the Australians. Ezekiel uh, Palacios, Facundo Buonanote. Giovanni Lo Celso, of course, is uh, well known. So is Leandro Paredes and Julian Alvarez all start today. Well, the excitement has certainly been building up. And it's Argentina who get us going here. And it's Christian Romero of Tottenham Hotspur. He played the entire match against Australia. The Indonesian crowd already making their presence felt, as you can probably hear. There's uh, Paredes, just playing in front of the defence. Now Romero. Indonesia to looking to get on the ball. Yeah, they are certainly going to make plenty of noise, this crowd, you can bet. seeing a lot of the ball early on. So enough of these players who played at the World Cup. This is Paredes. Also earlier, just trying to thread through. Paredes making the run. Indonesia really haven't had a touch yet. There's Los Also. Remember, they scored already by this stage against Australia, the Argentines, and it was a wonder goal, fantastic effort by Lionel Messi, who called it in. 
beautiful shot from him from outside the area. And there's Alvarez. Back from Molina. Now Romero. Palacios. Really keeping the ball well. And Indonesia likes to try and play in the front foot, especially under Shinte Yong. We have seen them play five at the back at times uh, against the Vietnam, most notably in the AFF Championship. They're a very good run at the moment, Indonesia. We've suffered uh, just uh, one loss. One defeat in the last ten, winning seven and keeping four clean sheets. Unbeaten in nine home games across all competitions, excluding the Southeast Asian Games. In Championship. Argentina, unstoppable after winning the World Cup. They've won their last three with an aggregate scoreline of 13-0. They haven't actually lost. Unbeaten in nine. And the last match they lost, guess what, against... Saudi Arabia. But that's put out of play. Safety first. Couldn't take any chances there. And that was a fine run by Buonanotte. And uh, Clock had to just put that out. Well, the first thing I, th I suppose that you've got to say about Indonesia, they have to just be a little calm here. Can't get overawed or intimidated by the occasion. He's a demanding coach, Shin tae -yong. He's not going to just expect his players to lie down here. He talked about how his players were in very, very good condition. And he expected that to be the case. Elkin Baggett. He's their huge defender, he's almost two metres tall. Dajad is just trying to make it a little bit difficult. They've won the ball back after some good pressing. Here's their captain, Asnawi. Marcelino Ferdinand, who plies his trade in Belgium. There's a few of them like that here. Jordi Amat who will have some experience of playing some of these players, having been in the Premier League and in La Liga. Been a naturalised Indonesian international for some time now, over a year. And there's a, quite a number of naturalized players in the starting lineup today there's eight or so in the squad there's six of them starting today and uh, that got a little bit of criticism from some quarters that it was uh, maybe a chance to give some of the local players a bit of a go I think you get that in any country that does use naturalized players there's always going to be this tussle there's Molina now Palacios Buonanote and it's also Molina is trying to put a tricky ball in and it's Klopp that puts it out for a corner and they'll be tricky down that left hand side, Gonzalez there.
Try something uh, a little acrobatic there, Pezzera. There's Lionel Scaloni. What an achievement he had. A man who many didn't even fancy being in charge of the Argentine team not too long ago. But he defied the odds in some ways and delivered them the much awaited, much anticipated World Cup. There's our Snowy getting a bit more central for the moment. Frank was there, lost the ball. Dinamo early as well, getting involved. Some arm across by Yuri Amat. He knows exactly what's going to happen next. Foul on Alvarez. He's trying to use uh, any advantage he can on Julian Alvarez. He's with Manchester City. He was on loan at River Plate last season. against Real Madrid in the uh, Champions League semi-final, Alvarez. And scored the only goal in the 1-0 win over Chelsea to win his first Premier League title. In the Champions League final, though, was a non-playing substitute. on the ball at the moment Molina oh that swerved a little bit Hernando doing well seems to just see it a little bit late take this corner not too much on the hell of Pompezaya Very good start. Bright start as you'd probably expect from uh, Argentina. Oh, and Hernando. Was very risky. Here's Alvarez. He's struggling to get any time on the ball at the moment. If he's just called up play or held up play for a second. And I couldn't see too much contact there. Very new player to the setup. Dimas Dryad. You'd imagine that uh, he's going to want to stay in the field as much as possible. A 
Look at the pace by Gonzalez. Straight into the very grateful arms of Hernando. Well, that didn't look good. And the clock didn't make too much of it. Certainly not the best of challenges. A little bit uncompromising there from Medina. And there's Elkin Baggett, who plays for Ipswich Town in the UK. The championship. Coming forward again, Lo Celso. Good run. He was looking to try and cement his place back with either Tottenham Hotspur or secure a move. Talk is it. He might want to leave, having been on loan. Villarreal last season. Scaloni will be happy with the start that his side has made so far. No goals there to show for it. Here's Asnawi. Looking for an outlet. They just can't. As of now. The crowd getting excited with Indonesia get the ball. There's Massimo Ferdinand. Oh, some great trickery from him. And that's a foul by Medina. Well, they enjoyed that, didn't they? have uh, to be honest very rarely crossed over this halfway line a reminder they're 149th in the world Argentina are the top ranked team in FIFA so it's a huge huge ask they did play out a goalless draw with a young side against uh, Palestine just a few days ago Palestine are Much higher rank than they are as well, but it's very. They're about uh, 93rd, I think, and very different prospect. And you're up against the number one team in the world. And they're effectively playing something like a, a 5-3-2. by Elkin Baggett. Free kick here for the Argentines. That's Christian Romero, who's very uncompromising. Baggett with the header away. Oh, that's a decent save. Very good save, actually. Got down very smartly, indeed, Hernando. That's just gone out of play. They must have seen that a little bit late. Just managed to do enough to keep it out.
Here come the Argentines again. There's Christian Romero. Now Molina. Until we get a bit of space, there's a bit of excitement in the air. struggling at the moment with Indonesia is just to hold on to the ball and when they do get it they tend to want to just get rid of it quickly because they've been put under pressure remember this side has no Lionel Messi today Palacios. <laughs> Indonesia really looking to try and Some kind of attacking move. Well, that's a free kick that goes the way of uh, Indonesia. And that's uh, Iva Yena who goes down. Well, unfortunately, caught uh, Paredes on him. So this is one fan at least is wearing the uh, the jersey. They didn't get that clean, the Alvarez. Shin Tae Yong, what will he made of this so far? A few times they've even got a near the area. Rafael Struck is wanting to come back on. <laughs> Romero sends a very decent ball in. And Gonzalez acknowledges that, but unable to control it. Careful here, Indonesia. The pockets of space appearing. Again, considering far too many free kicks, Marcin Ferdinand. The judge who have made the foul here. Now, free kick here. Los Celso is an interested party. Having big discussions with Palacios. Oh, 
Lots of discussion now on this one. He runs over to the other side. Yeah, risky. Just uh, going a little lower. Oh, that's a loose ball. Elka Baggett doing enough to get in the way. I think that might be Medina, who's feeling he should have got something. Well, Baggett did enough. He's got a big frame as well. Well, there was the opportunity. Welcome back at doing well, didn't he? Just to throw himself at that. Indonesia looking to pass, at least gets two or three passes if they can. Oh, look at the pace there shown. Really trying to put everything in it. And that's wonderful. Closing down. They need to take a shot. And Guadalupe. And all the struck was just looking a little bit of space to make his first effort on goal. They haven't really had anything so far. Awesome. Oh, moments to get everyone excited. It's all about the possession at the moment for Argentina. They've been very, very good. That's a silly foul by Asnawi. got a pretty young team uh, I think it's fair to say Indonesia overall a lot of new players in the squad Rafael struck another one that we uh, mentioned earlier he started his first match for Indonesia in the last game against uh, Palestine making their feelings known here Lo Celso standing over it's a it's a fair way out but it's not going to be him it's well as, was that ever going to be a threat from there Looking at uh, what we're telling about Indonesia. Oh. 
Lost two nil to aggregate on aggregate to Vietnam in the AFF semi-finals. They played African uh, minnows Burundi during the international break in March. 3-1 victory and a 2 all draw. And they go one on one. They just can't get it through. Oh, fantastic defending. And somehow, somehow the ball hasn't gotten to the back of the goal. Well, Indonesia have thrown everything at this. You've got to give credit there to Hernando. And then the two defenders on the line, Elka Baggett and Risky Rido. Well, Baggett again, it comes off him. A couple of two great pieces of defending. Now, seeing some injuries. Scaloni looks distinctly unhappy. They're trying some new goalkeepers out at the moment. So, all that has been sorted out, injuries, no problem. Referee wanting to make sure there's no uh, pushing and shoving in the box. I think clearly with the humidity and the heat that these players are facing, I can tell you it has been very, very warm in Indonesia that there will be changes in the second half. Their record in unbeaten game in games at the moment is nine unbeaten so far, Indonesia. I think they've just got a little bit more used to this, Indonesia, and in, in some ways. Still not easy at all. But perhaps the pace of the game and also the Argentines maybe feeling the conditions a bit. Yeah, they're defending pretty deep. There's absolutely no doubt about it. Little, just a little slow to get back, and that is a little bit careless, isn't it? Fatinama looks uh, forlorn, struck as well. There you go. Again, call into action. Not being given any space, though, dominating the ball. Took a huge deflection. Will it be a corner? It might well be. Scalone is pleading away for something, protecting his players. I'm not sure. Clock is on the ground here. <laughs> oh, it's not everyone missed that. And it's a bottle of it. And uh, just enough there, clock.
header sails over. A bit of frustration here for the Indonesia, for the uh, Australians. For the excuse me, let me try again. For the Argentines against the Indonesians. It was Australia that they played against a few days ago. Now Indonesia with a rare foray into the final third, waiting for some support. Dimas Gajad, none forthcoming. Not the greatest of balls and it will go out for a corner. And there you can see, the fans absolutely love that kind of thing. Pati Nama on his debut, wanting the crowd to get more involved there's the uh, Indonesian president Joko Widodo and that yeah look it's just gone far lively hasn't it you just saw a uh, clock as well doing the same thing they haven't packed too many players in Here's Asnawi. Such a great player. Really good on the ball. Oh, that's behind. Fatinama. There's Paredes. There's also on this side for a bit. Guananote. The Indonesian crowd trying to do what they can. Got to remember, this, uh, some of these players very inexperienced. The goalkeeper Fernando only making a, a couple of appearances for his country beforehand. Welcome Bader, Bagger, and uh, Yoriyama. And they're playing in uh, Europe. We thought Pratama Arhan would start today. He's normally a, a regular fullback opposite uh, Asnawi, but it wasn't to be. the way through clock a little late to the challenge and we also thought that it might be clock and come wire in midfield just uh, rubbing his head there and Marcelo Ferdinand thanks for Dines a magnificent goal oh the power Paredes opens the scoring it had to take something a little special Argentina had been threatening but Indonesia were resolute until Paredes struck think it took a deflection no we'll see here no it didn't he cut across the ball could Hernando have done more? He almost got there. I just wondered whether there might have been something along the way that he took, but it didn't. 
And look at that. It's an absolute thunderbolt from Paredes. Well, they scored a superb opening goal against Australia. They've done it here against Indonesia at very different moments in the first half. They don't care about that. Leandro Paredes, the player from Juventus, with a superb goal, his fifth for his country. Expecting to shoot again and again now, maybe. And that shot from Buenanote, well wide. What a goal that was! Cut right across the ball. Very difficult for this man here. We're expecting, I guess, a lot of substitutions at half time from both sides. You can imagine that uh, particularly the Argentines will look to ring the changes. Got 11. Outfield players on the, on their bench and two goalkeepers. I'll make it 15 for Indonesia with two goalkeepers as well. So a confirmation that Paredes in the 38th minute scoring for Argentina against Indonesia. Matinama foul on him by his opposite number, Buananote. Argentina without Otamendi, Di Maria and Lionel Messi. There's always a thought that he's going to give his other players, maybe the ones on the periphery, a bit of a chance here. We didn't think Emiliano Martinez would start today, but he has. I'm not sure if he'll finish the match. So a surprise that Romero also started this one. We thought that uh, Leonardo Baleri would. Here's Palacios with an excellent season with Bayer Leverkusen. He's been rewarded with his first start for Argentina since June 2021, by the way.
Spilloni looks maybe a little bit happier now after a side of that opening goal and that was Baggett trying to be maybe a little too clever up against Buonanotti Patti Nama he's done well really well Position into the side netting. Julian Alvarez making a real nuisance of himself there. Lovely ball in by Buonanotte. The angle is always against Alvarez. from uh, Adio Den Haag. He's handed his senior Indonesia debut from the start against Palestine in the last match. stoppages weren't there I think it's a bit of value as well to watch a bit more of Argentina they all love that it's far too much to expect from uh, Patinama to keep that in There's Paredes. And then Los Celso has just come across onto this right hand side. And uh, swapped with Palacios. Here's Romero. Pazea. Now Medina. Gonzalez on that left hand side. Indonesia. Very picky, shall we say, about when they choose to press. They haven't done too much of it. Happy to be back in numbers. Enjoying a lot of possession here, I have to say. Well, there are some other fantastic players that Indonesia have that were not called up for this one so we see Lo Celso is he going to go for goal no let's try and slip it through there's a lot of players in there Risky Rido struck looking to get it further forward and we've got some uh, wonderful players like Thank you, Molana. Who uh, plays it in Europe. He's 
a, a really young talent. Still an injury issue. Oh, there's a chance there! That's the first shot on target. Emilio Martinez gets down. Let's keep the concentration off the other end. And that's just given the Indonesian crowd something to cheer about just before we get to half time. Now Gonzalez keeps that in. Los Celso. Gonzalez, oh dear, I'm not sure who that was aimed at. And that brings us to the end of the first half, but something at least for Indonesia, having a chance right at the end of this first half. And it was Jena who could have scored against Argentina. That's a great save. And he had Jokowi there ready to get in his feet but it wasn't to be yeah it was at full stretch wasn't he great save from the Aston Villa goalkeeper but it's that man there Leandro Paredes his thunderbolt that separates the two sides here in this international friendly at the Gloria Boncano it's Indonesia nil Argentina one Welcome back to the second half of this international friendly between Indonesia and Argentina. Uh, it is 1-0 to the Argentines uh, with the goal from uh, Paredes. Leandro Paredes, a long-range effort. Absolutely superb. We were expecting a number of changes. Here we go. Looks like uh, Shane Fatinama is going to be replaced by Pratama Arhan. That's a like for like change. Fatinama making his uh, debut for his new country after being granted uh, citizenship not too long ago. Born in the uh, Netherlands. Pratama Arhan is a, a regular, great player. Plays in uh, Japan with Tokyo Verdi. I think there's a few more changes which we'll just find out about. They had a, a couple of moments in the Indonesia, not too many. Argentina had almost 80% of the ball in that first half. Not too many actual attempts in the end with uh, Argentina, sorry, with Indonesia having so many players behind the ball. 
let's see how the second half pans out. They were relatively solid, actually, at times. Maybe stretched a bit, but put their bodies on the line. There we go. Dimas Dragad is another one that is off. Then the Solistiawan replaces him. He's also a regular striker. Surprised that there's only those changes. And there we go. So it's like for like changes. And we'll just get uh, confirmation of the. Is anything for Argentina yet? So here come the Argentines, and there's a little push on Dendi. He's a very quick forward. Tama Arhan is also very, very quick. Also has a, a mean throw on him. Let's see if he does one of his Tama Arhan specials. Really uh, has a big run up and a long, long throw, which can be quite effective for Indonesia. Surprising indeed that there are no changes for Argentina, which I think might surprise a few. Well, I'm sure they'll make uh, those changes a little bit later on and probably en masse as well. Let's see. It's Paredes, the goal scorer. Now Palacios, mentioned earlier, had a very good season with uh, Bayer Leverkusen. They're very much in demand, this Argentina side. There were lots of countries that wanted them, wanted to play the world champions. Bangladesh were another one that were heavily touting that as well. Molina, or Medina, I should say, excuse me. Molina's on the other end. There's Romero. Palacios. Giving the ball away. Dendi. Got a little touch in there. Pratama Arhan. Really has nothing to aim at. They're going to get a corner out of this. And there the players again. Urging the fans to make more noise. This is McAllister. Will we be seeing him? The man who is uh, very much in demand after the World Cup. And has recently been purchased by Liverpool. Palacios.
Very much the same pattern that we saw in the first half. Actually gets the ball there, Hernando. Pratama Arhan. <laughs> there you go. Now, this is the Pratama special I was telling you about. He'll dry the ball because he wants as much grip as he can get on it. We'll take a big run and then throw that in. Elkan Bagger is the obvious is the obvious man here. Now, wow, maybe they know about Pratama and they've got someone there standing not too far away from where he's gonna launch it. Here we go. There's that throw in. Baguette! It almost makes its way in. Emiliano Martinez. Tips it over, the second chance for Argentina. Second time he's been called into action. And that's why it is an effective weapon. The tallest man in the pitch, Elkin Baggett, gets the flick on and requires a save from one of the World Cup heroes. So they almost scored just before half time. They've almost scored, I guess you could say, just after half time. Well, the closest opportunities that they've had anyway. And I think you can bet with the success of that throw in, they're going to be trying that again. Hasnawi launches forward. I'm sure that's really the best tactic to be uh, employing. voice great to hear really is feel quite a buoyed by that feel that they might have an opportunity here Los Celso though with a corner up the other end he didn't make uh, the World Cup squad had an injury uh, before the World Cup <laughs> the clock trying to make peace uh, with uh, Gonzalez that didn't really work out. Off the head of Jordi Amat. I mentioned earlier to you that uh, he played in uh, La Liga. 31 year old, has played with Espanol, Rai Vallecano, Betis. And they've got their second goal. It's Christian Romero, delivered by his club teammate Giovanni Lo Celso from Tottenham Hotspur. Puff of the cheeks there from Hernando. Romero does always have a bit of an attacking streak in him. 
Pretty much a free header, isn't it? Who was marking a risky Rino's looking around? That's his man. Free header for Christian Romero. Well, the Indonesian fans that are in the crowd certainly enjoying that. So second half yet. Uh, a couple changes here from some more from Shin Tae Yong, even from uh, Lionel Scaloni. So the uh, referees are from uh, referee and the assistants are from Malaysia. Mahmoud Say Bin Jamal. Fourth officials from Indonesia, Akisma Naranda. Right, here we go. We know what's going to happen next, or at least that's the plan. The Pratama Arhan. Big throw in. And they're trying to put a man there again, like they did earlier. Welcome, Baggett. Emilio Martinez comes off his line. The shot, I think that was Asnawi as well. That was. Uh, Kirido instead, but well, they are making a bit more of a fist of it in the second half. Emilio Martinez uh, does have a tendency to have a bit of a wild streak. Came up way off his goal. to the go for it again why not something out of this. This time it doesn't, it goes just behind us, also it was uh, Romero got in front of him. Gonzalez away. Changes all coming together. Pretty big ones, a pretty uh, big number of changes. So Gonzalez will make way. So Alejandro Garnacho. Is on there for Nicolas Gonzalez, who's a big the new crop of stars, Garnacho.
from uh, Manchester United, of course. Number 50, Nicolas Ivan Gonzalez, by number. Number 50, Marcos Acuna. Acuna is also on. We're getting this information as uh, quick as we can to you. There you go. Nicholas Gonzalez is uh, replaced. Uh, Alejandro Garnacho is by Acuna. Oh, so just two changes then for now. There'll be a few more to come. There he is, Garnacho. Probably he's one to watch, isn't he, Garnacho? Especially with uh, Lionel Messi saying that he's not going to go to the next World Cup. We'll see if that actually happens, given that it's in the country that he's going to be playing in as well. Garnacho's gone down. And then, of course, picks himself up. Is the potential to tip the balance maybe in three years' time in the next World Cup. As Colonia said, he's very much looking forward to this electric winger in action over the next, over this weekend. He has been in previous squads, but he has finally made his uh, debut in the last match against China. 18 years of age, Garnacho. So one for the future. He's got people excited. Man United fans for sure. That's good defending. There is uh, Marcos Acuna. Struck is off. Replaced by one of the most naturally gifted players in Witan Sulaiman without a stint overseas now, he's not an out and out striker might just play off uh, Dendi, let's see Isaiah has just uh, hurt himself here, going up for that corner. It might have just been the, the elbow of Risky Rudo that came down. Uh, no, nothing in that. He's okay. Had some. Uh, I'll make it three changes now for Indonesia. Two for Argentina. Still adjusting himself. The player that's uh, got off, by the way, I should just uh, mention is uh, 
Kundo Medina. mentioned Witan Sulaiman who's recently moved back to Indonesia 21 years of age now with local club procedure Jakarta so we'll be delighted to have him in their ranks just 21 years of age he had a stint in, in Serbia in the Super League with Radnik Sulica then he went to Lecce Gdansk in Poland and he moved to a Slovak club, Sanica. Then a short stint of Trenchin in Slovakia as well. And moving back this year to Persija. Marcelo Ferdinand, who is playing in Europe. Oh, that, how cool is that to say you have nutmegged the World Cup player in Ezekiel Palacios. tempo again sounds like, almost sounds like that could be a wave going on oh, boy, there you go I am right it is a wave Asnawi, oh, he's fouled and actually he got rid of the ball earlier. I think it was Acuna. Marcos Acuna replaced for Sevilla, 31 year old. Yeah, that was a bit late, wasn't it? Over 50 caps for his country. played in all the matches of the 2022 World Cup except the semi-final against Croatia because he was suspended in that one he was severe since 2020 there you go this is a stadium by the way that used to fill over a hundred thousand used to spill over and of course you know, Indonesia's had some tragedy in the last few years well, especially uh, a few months ago really and draw on uh, Stampede and anyway they redid the stadium a few years ago four years ago and its capacity has been changed to about 88,000 makes it the seventh largest football stadium in the world but it makes terrific noise as you can probably hear right now Here's Elkan Baggett. That's a really good ball. Pratama Arhan has got the pace. How far up the pitch he was. Oh, just 
too much on that difficult for Alvarez to get to all smiles on the bench at the moment here's Garnacho Just waiting for that extra touch, wasn't he, from uh, Asnawi. It's a good looking run. Doesn't really stop the keeper, but Guadalupe was surging forward there. Here's Witan. Who replaced Rafael Struck. He's making his first start. And it's too far away from Garnacho. Struck here's Asnawi. Surely he's got to put a better ball into the path of uh, Witan. Or rather, Dendi, who's uh, at the attentions of Pazella. I'm uh, very surprised. But, uh, I was going to say not so many changes, but here we go. Because Campos is about to come on. It's the big throw in again. I think it's the fourth time we've seen it now. Going to have that change first. And Buonanote. He is going to be replaced. by Lucas Ariel Ocampos, who's a 28-year-old attacker from Sevilla. And his part uh, of his career in River Plate, been at Monaco, Marseille, Genoa, AC Milan. He was on loan last year at Ajax, so you might know some of these players yet, some of them in the Dutch league. So Facundo, buena nota out, Lucas Ocampos in. Right, he's tried the ball a lot. This one not quite as effective. Yoriyama gets a touch on. He's not one of those that played at the World Cup for Campos. Ganacho gets it away. Gonna go for it again, and I think you can understand why. It has caused a few problems, no doubt about it. From the other side for the first time, Martinez goes down. No foul on him. What was that? <laughs> Thank you for the
I heard 56,000 there, and I just wonder, because this would have been the hottest ticket in town, that uh, they haven't sold the entire capacity just for safety reasons. There's also 5,000 security staff in and around the stadium area. They're taking no chances here for this. Indonesia, you may recall, uh, after that stampede, and we still had the vote of support to continue hosting the uh, FIFA Under-20 World Cup. issues being at the forefront here so I just wonder whether that's been part of it the, the them losing 920 World Cup wasn't down to that so political reasons of sorts but I think they've been very good hosts overall certainly what I saw in the, in the Jakarta Hotel treated very well About 15 minutes or so if you include some added time in this. And just how things are going, I think you can imagine they'll probably try to eke out a bit more time. Pintiong was very careful to say they're still a top team even without the likes of Lionel Messi and Nicolas Otimendi and Angel Di Maria. They've got plenty of talent. So many of their players in Europe, top, top clubs. quite like that from uh, Asnawi it's a delightful ball up top he has to take the shot first time Dendi he's looking around is he expecting a penalty here well, he's not going to get it for a start but he felt he was fouled I uh, don't think there was much on that he's uh, not got the cleanest shot away didn't see much of a reaction from his coach either to indicate probably nothing in it Ganacho. That's now uncompromising. But I think with about almost ten minutes or so to go, Dendy's a little hurt here. Cornelius did well. And this an arm across perhaps from Alvarez.
Zlatan Saloma. Oh, he's done well. No real support. And they're just too strong, aren't they, at the back there. Pazella was very good. Yeah, as I was uh, about to say, with about 10 minutes to go, you'd expect a few more changes. None yet forthcoming. Away by Amat. Yeah, cross doesn't make it in. Goal kick. To their credit, they are we going to see him on the new Liverpool player He's taking the number 10 shirt and was left vacant last season after Sadio Mane left for Bayern Munich. So yeah, a card for Alvaro Zeller, might be the first one this uh, match. Yeah, I just thought, um, give the players an opportunity, some of the players on the bench to get an opportunity to play against Argentina for Indonesia. But uh, not really a sentimental uh, kind of guy. Well, that's almost a, sh a chance there for, Indian for Argentina. A little relaxed there, perhaps, on the keeper. Fernando. He was closed down quickly and almost went in. Here's Yana. Now Amat is just going a little further forward. He does that at times. He can do that with a, a back three. Just a little too far away. From Asnawi. Lovarez almost getting an inadvertent goal there. Marcelino Ferdinand, that's no doubt about the foul there, a little push on his back from Garnacho. They're not far apart these two in terms of age. Marcelino Ferdinand is the, he's uh, 18, 9th of September 2004, here's some changes. Alvarez is done. few moments. Looks like three changes. Giovanni Simone, Simeone is on. I think we just saw one of the Sayuri twins come on. Just give you uh, updates and all that very shortly indeed. I'm just comparing the ages of uh, Ferdinand and uh, Alejandro Garnacho. It was 1st of July 2004, so they're about three months apart in age. Ezekiel Palacios is also off. I think he's been replaced by Thiago Almada. 
Everything on the uh, channel, the loud head of the announcer. So Palacios, Alvarez, and Paredes are off. Almada, Simeone, and Guido Rodriguez. Sure, Indonesia have also made a change here. There we go, Eva Yanner is out. And I'm quite sure, was that Ricky Kambuaya? I couldn't quite see it. It is Jakob Sayuri. He's uh, got electric pace, he's a really Really entertaining player to watch when he gets full uh, going. Can play out wide, he can play in midfield. But he's got terrific places. Uh, younger brother, oh sorry, his twin I should say, no younger brother. He won't appreciate that. Uh, made his debut for Indonesia in the last game against Palestine. Jans Sayuri. Yakov is uh, a little bit more experienced, more than a dozen caps now for his country. It looks like there's going to be no space for sentimentality for Shin Taeyong and allowing a few more of his players to have a chance to play against. Argentina. Sayuri, lovely little turn, touch from him as I said, he's an exciting player to watch. Foul oh, on Dendi, he's had a few oh, issues, isn't he? He's quick though. And that was uh, Ocampos who brought him down. Welcome back it now to Risky Rido. Still got plenty to instruct his team on. Been brilliant. Oh, that didn't look good. Well, that's got to be punished, surely. The referee has to look at that. He ain't lunging in. Alejandro Garnacho. Silly from him. He didn't like that tackle, but it was a perfectly legitimate one from Asnawi. And that looked like payback. He went lunging in, feet off the air, off the ground. That's a terrible challenge, frankly. And that's what Asnawi is saying. And, uh, well, has he got away with that? Five minutes of out of time, by the way. I think that... It's uh, quite unnecessary, to be honest with you.
Anyway, it is a friendly. Just a reminder again, Thiago Almada has come in for Ezekiel Palacios. Giovanni Simeone in for Julian Alvarez. And Guido Rodriguez replaces Leandro Paredes. I'll just tell you very quickly about them. And Guido Rodriguez is 28 from place for Real Betis. Member of the squad that won the FIFA World Cup. Guido Rodriguez. Giovanni Simeone. Who's the son of Diego Simeone. Who's uh, 27 years of age. Was with the Napoli side that won the league. Serie A. He's on loan from Hellas Verona and he's joined them permanently after that. And the uh, final player is Thiago Almada, who's 22, who attacking player, plays for Atlanta United, interestingly enough, and uh, in the United States, in the MLS. Interesting to see that. We only have about a couple of minutes left here. By the time there's Alcon Baggett, now clock. Looking maybe for one more opportunity. Well, they're winning the ball back. They want another goal. There's Ocampos trying to just thread it through. to the ball, is there a foul? Well, that was a bit clumsy, wasn't it, from clock? Not giving much away here. And we are just about to come to the end of this match. One last opportunity, perhaps. Now, well, that sails over. And the referee calls time on this international friendly, which uh, has given plenty of entertainment for the fans. They would have known coming in that this would have been a very difficult one. Clock is talking to Garnacho here, arm around him. It's been a good for both. Can hold their head up high, not at all embarrassed. They played well. Goals from Paredes and Christian Romero. Leandro Paredes scoring with a thunderbolt in the 30th minute. Christian Romero with pretty much a free header. 
He swaps jerseys there with Elkenbaggett, it looks like. And he's asked Elkenbaggett, who was almost surprised at doing that, but it is a special moment. It ends here, the Galora Bunkan in this international friendly, Indonesia nil, Argentina 2.